Hello everyone. Pray for my health. My sinuses have been bothering me. Headaches. Um, congestion. Stuff like that. Just my health in general. Pray for my depression. The enemy attacking me. Pray for worldwide salvation. Pray for my friend Benjamin for strength. Pray for my pastor Dave. Um, pray for our finances. And if you have prayer, just let me know. And then we will get into 50 to 52 devotions for cat ladies. And today's topic is don't mess with me. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Exodus 14, 14. Our cat Martin looked mighty cozy as he slept in the warm sunshine on her deck. I'll admit to being a little jealous that day because I would have loved to squeeze a nap in as well, but I knew that when it happened. As I continued to watch that sleepy cat from my window, something unexpected occurred. Martin awakened from his nap, but he didn't stretch lazily in the sunshine like he usually did. No, on this day, he jolted awake because he wasn't alone. A cat I'd never seen before had joined Martin on the deck, and it only took about two seconds to realize that the normally sweet Martin wasn't given the straight a warm welcome. Martin jumped up and his back arched. The hair on his tail burred up and he hissed in a threatening manner. When that didn't detter the interloper, Martin gave a hair-raising howl that was meant to scare off the new intruder. Evidently, the message wasn't delivered in the manner Martin intended because the visiting cat kept inching closer and closer. Martin's howls and hisses intensified, but the unwanted visitor kept advancing until the two cats were nose to nose. That stray was delivering a message to Martin, I'm not afraid of you because I know you're not going to do anything but make a lot of noise. Satan often scares us like that as he makes threats against us, but we don't have to be afraid of him. I love the story in the book of Job where it tells how Satan tested Job. Satan wasn't allowed to do anything to Job without going through God first. That gives us such confidence as we take our stand against the enemy. Just as th the stray delivered that message to Martin, we can say, I'm not afraid of you because I know the one who is truly in charge and he fights my battles for me. God, there have been many times when Satan has sent attacks against me. At times he's messed up my relationships with those I love. Some days the warfare with him has been intense and if I'm honest, there have been many occasions when I've been afraid or lost hope. Thank you for the reminder that you are in charge and that nothing can happen to me unless you allow it. Help me to learn from those times. Thank you for the confidence it gives me to know that you are in control and that you will fight my battles for me. Pause to think. How does it make you feel to know that God is in charge of anything that happens to you? Did you know? A hissing cat should not be taken lightly. It's a warning that more aggressive behavior, such as biting or scratching, is coming if you don't give the cat some space. And that is it. Hope you guys have a blessed Monday and talk to you later.